Good morning and welcome to the Great Journey Podcast. I'm Caitlin Clary here with Sensei Callahan and today we have a podcast for you called Good Habits Are Made, Bad Habits Just Happen. What do you have to share with us today, Sensei? Well, um, to begin with, uh, it's um, we have a little bit of background music, noise, noise here, actually yes. music. Right? Yeah, it is music, very yeah. musical. Yes. Somebody's there's pounding some, on our roof. There's some rhythm going on because in the drum section up, upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it's a little distracted. So if I look away every once in a while, that's, yes. that's what's happening. Right. Um, so parents love their children. Yes, they we, do. We don't, they don't want life to be hard or difficult. We want to try right. to give our children yeah. a, a, a stressless, life to where they can enjoy and thrive yes however yes. sometimes we need to do hard things right and yes. we need to teach them hard things yes mm -hmm. so life isn't all fun and games right um there is a difficult part to life that we all have to face we all have to take on mm -hmm. so the the thinking is that life is hard right now not all of life but right. a good portion of life is hard right and life will either be hard because you work hard mm -hmm. and make something of yourself right and then later on you can reap the rewards because you have so many different options available to you right or life is hard because you don't work hard and right. you don't make something of yourself so now you're going to suffer later on yeah as a result of it right so we believe that the first approach is the much better approach that right. you want to make something of yourself and that's what we're doing here with our students is we're making something of them right and making something or helping the child make something of themselves mm -hmm. but making something of yourself involves making yourself do something right but in the process of you you don't um a child doesn't want to do that right you know um Gosh, sometimes i don't even want to do those things yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like self-discipline yeah. is we we describe it as being um getting yourself to do the things that you know that are good for you mm -hmm. that you don't want to do right and or preventing yourself from doing the things that are bad for you but that you do like to do exactly and i often tell parents you know what child in their right mind would ever want to do that right exactly uh, yeah and so the child has to be they have to be convinced mm -hmm. they have to be influenced and right. at times they have to be made to do it right and it it's not always and and it, every child is different right uh, you know there's a saying that there's four different types of horses one kind of horse you tell him to run he'll run right so there are kids out there you just ask them to do this and they they do, they do something right and then there are the second kind of horse you have you will um um you show this horse the whip. Yes. Now, now we got a telephone right. in the background yes. and up on the roof here. So, yes. Yeah, so if I seem distracted, yeah, I don't right. know that is. Right. We're on the second horse. I'll try to keep you on, on track. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So the second horse, you show him the whip, then he'll run. Right. So that's like telling parent, telling a child that if you don't do something, there's going to be consequences. Right. And then the third thing is the third kind of horse. You have to crack the whip in the air. So mm -hmm. you have to threaten them with the consequences. Right. Is the third kind of child. Right. And then the fourth kind of horse, you have to actually beat them with the, mm -hmm. with the whip. Mm -hmm. And for a child, that means you have to impose the consequences. Right. So if you tell them, look, you got to do this thing or you don't get any dessert. Right. Then, and the child, okay, well, so what? All right. right. Then you don't give them any dessert. Right. That's the consequences. They, right. They feel the 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 sting of that yes and so you have to make the child do the, those things at times not always right but it depends on the nature of the child right yeah, yeah. absolutely and so here at Shotokan Karate Leadership School we teach good habits um, to become help be a part of the foundation of their training yep, yep. so we have the physical training on the floor yep. and the character training at home yeah because of the importance that we see in this yes yeah and the and the good habits training is what sets the foundation for character development. Right. And character development happens a little by little over a protracted and extended period of time, mm -hmm. little by little, day by day. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to to do that, though, you you start by practicing good habits and you keep repeating them and repeating them and repeating them and repeating them, mm -hmm. and that's what forms your character. Right. And so. Uh, you know, that's the essence of what, what happens here. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Good. great. Okay. okay. Well, thank you for listening and we'll have more content for you next time on the great journey podcast. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.